Hey guys, this is Mrs. Arizona Dreams back for another video today. Uh, this time I want to talk about a subject that comes up quite often. Is Phoenix friendly? Do, do people around here that move here find Phoenix to be full of mean, cranky, unapproachable people? Well, I can only give you my opinion and my perspective on it. I don't find Phoenix unfriendly. Are you going to get that overt friendliness that you might find in the South? No. Do people necessarily say hi to you when they pass you by? Not all the time. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So I think the, the your view on whether a place is friendly is what you're used to. So if you are from the South, you may find Phoenix to not be friendly. You may find, why are these people not talking to me? Why are they not making eye, con eye contact? You know, why aren't people smiling? That's because maybe you grew up somewhere where they did those things. Same for the Midwest. Midwesterners tend to be a little bit more approachable and more friendly. But that doesn't make people here that don't do those things unfriendly. I think it makes it just different from maybe what you're used to. When I lived in Ohio, one time I didn't even know my next door neighbor's names. But I, if I went on a hiking trail, you can better believe that people were gonna nod or say hi to me. You know, it was just that kind of environment. When I, when I come here, if I'm on a hiking trail, most of the time people don't say hi. You know, sometimes they'll, they'll smile. Sometimes I say hi and they don't respond back and I don't know if they heard me or not because I can be soft-spoken sometimes, so I, I look at it that way. But just because they don't speak to me on the trail or if I'm walking past, I just don't see it as mean, you know? it's just, I think it's just your point of view. Are there mean people here? Yes. Are there jerks here? You better believe it. But you're gonna find that anywhere you go. And if you have one bad experience or even 20 bad experiences, I think it's kind of a big generalization to then therefore declare all of Phoenix or all of Arizona full of mean, unfriendly people. I think you just have to look at people as people. Um, in one neighborhood, I didn't know anybody here. I never knew them. Nobody ever spoke. Another neighborhood, we had a couple of neighbors that were, they were cool, but it's not like we, you know, hung out with them. This neighborhood, when I go every morning, when I walk my kids to school, somebody, multiple people, will smile at me. They'll say good morning. They'll say hi. And as an introvert, frankly, it can be a little bit draining for me <laughs> by the time I get home because I keep to myself. I may be one of those people that you might pass by that's not gonna necessarily say hi or not. And it's not because I'm unfriendly. I am so not a mean person. I'm just an introvert. So you gotta look at it as, as people having different personalities too. However, you know, being one of the few, well, black people here, I do feel <laughs> like I should be a little bit more friendly than I'm comfortable with. You know, I don't want people to look at me as like, oh, she's just an angry black woman. So yeah. I do say hi first a lot of the times and I make sure I smile and I'm friendly because, you know, I, I know sometimes there's that perception. I'm not trying to start off or anything, but I know that there's that perception that maybe, you know, people like me aren't the most approachable, but they do speak. So I find this neighborhood probably to be the friendliest neighborhood I've lived in, but I've, I've lived in three. Every neighborhood is different. I've heard, uh, about some neighborhoods around here that are friendly, that you do know your neighbors, that they do have community gatherings and everybody knows everybody. It's just, you can't generalize. Have I had that experience for the most part? No, but I know that there's neighborhoods out there. So I don't think you can just say that Phoenix is unfriendly based on just a few experiences. I think Phoenix is what you make it. It's harder to meet people, meet your neighbors out here. I mean, people just aren't hanging out like they are in other places. You know, you see people in the Midwest or other places that have grass, most places have grass, and they're out cutting their grass, and you know, you kinda can chat it up then, or they're working in their garden or whatever, but we have mostly, most of the neighborhoods here have rocks, and I don't see a whole lot of gardening going on. 
um, a, a nice chunk of the year. It's just too dang on hot to be outside. And if you're trying to get people to be friendly during the really hot part of the year, you're gonna have a hard time with that. Because I'll tell you, if <laughs> one of my neighbors was chatting with me and it was still in the just hot part of the year, and I really wasn't interested. All I was thinking is I have sweat dropping down in places that I don't even want to think about right now. And I really just want to stop this conversation so I can go in the house and stop being so hot and sweaty and turning 18 shades darker than I already am. I'm just being real about that. I don't want to talk to people when it's hot. I just want to go from uh, the house to the car to the building, you know? So it, it also, I think, depends on what time of year it is i think we're all a little bit crabbier when it's 115 degrees let's let's just be honest with it again people are not out hanging out in the in the streets here they like to sit in their garages i found that out that is a thing here i found that out in in texas too and they just do i don't know what it is i think because it's maybe it's sunny even when it's good weather even when it's good weather they're they're always sitting in their garages when Mr. James and I were doing our morning walks. We would always see like a couple older couples, 5.30 in the morning, sitting in their garages. And they would be like, good morning, and we'd say hi. And, and you know, there's a, a family across the street. Every, every weekend they're out in their garage and they're playing music and they're just chilling. So you might find a bunch of your neighbors in the garage. So you may have to go, go up and wave to them there but now i'm becoming a garage sitter so you know i guess when in room the way people hang out here is different we don't have a lot of space uh yards typically i haven't seen very many big porches so it's that's not the most inviting place so maybe that's why people hang out in their garage because we don't typically have very big porches but if people here from all walks of life all kinds of states and I, I guarantee you you'll find plenty of friendly people sometimes you just have to try a little harder and i just try not to expect what i left in the in the new place because everybody's going to be different and i think if you look at it as they're different rather than they're mean because they're not like the neighbors where you left i think it'll make you feel better and and make it easier to just say hey Maybe they're not mean, they're just indifferent. Maybe they're not mean, they're just not used to chatting it up with people, or they're not used to saying hi to strangers walking past. I think you just have to take it for what it is. I would hope that somebody passing by me wouldn't think I was mean because I didn't necessarily say hi. I try to make eye contact and smile, but it's just not easy for me because again, I'm, I'm just, I keep to myself. Uh, if you're my neighbor, you may think I'm mean because if I if I see you, I'll wave, but I'm not going to necessarily come over and, and chat it up with you. It's just not what I'm used to, and it's just not who I am. But if you come talk to me, I'll, I will talk to you right back. If it's not 115, if it is, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk. Just let me go in the house. You're going to find jerks and mean people and rude people everywhere. You, 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 just, you just are. So if you find those people here... Just look at it as being those people and not just judge everybody for how some people act. Everybody's gonna have bad experiences and you're gonna have good experiences. Just keep your mind open. Know that there's plenty of nice people out there, but I think in general, I found this place to be pleasant enough, you know, and that's just me, cause I don't need, I really don't need people to chat it up with me. It may require an adjustment if you're from small town USA and everybody knows each other and they're want to chat and neighbors are getting together. I think it may be a tough adjustment, but you know, it is what it is. When you new when you move to a new place, you're going to find different kinds of people. And I think if you keep being friendly and keep just being you, um, you'll you'll draw people to you. So, let me know in the comments below. You don't have to go into like ranting and raving, but let me know what your experiences have been. Um, have you? Do you find Phoenix friendly? Have you had good experiences with people here? Do you find them unfriendly and unapproachable? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.